As a full-time working mom and content creator, it's hard to find time during the week to slow down. Everything feels so fast-paced and it's non-stop. Until the weekend, when I get a chance to pause and relax. In today's video, I'll be showing you my slow fall morning routine. I really enjoy spending these slow mornings pouring back into myself, especially after a long week of pouring out into other people and things. On slow mornings, I still wake up early out of habit, but instead of rushing out of bed, I like to take it slow. I chill in bed and scroll on TikTok until I feel ready to get up. First thing I did was get me an overdress for our morning stroll. Then I had to make up my bed because I cannot stand leaving my room a mess. this a million times but drinking water is so important and it is a big part of self-care i love liquid iv because i always wake up feeling so dehydrated and these are so replenishing but girl these are like eight or nine dollars for a six pack so i'm gonna need them to give me a sponsorship if i'm gonna maintain this expensive taste Taking these walks with Nova have been so therapeutic for me. I started leaving my headphones at home so I can just enjoy the scenery and sounds of nature. Not only is this a good way to exercise, but I always feel so grounded afterwards. Now that we done made it back home, it's time for me to wash off that walk and do my shower routine. I love curating my hygiene routines to match the season, so this year for fall, I'm doing vanilla scented. I feel like it matches the vibe without being too overwhelming. I started off my shower routine with this scrub from Pacifica. It smells just like vanilla bean, and it has a very smooth, fine texture. Next, I go ahead with my razor and the shave cream from EOS. Y'all, this is my first time ever trying this product, and when I tell you it gave exactly what it was supposed to give, it smells so good, and I like the creamy, smooth texture. I'm also trying out this Dove Foam and Body Wash because I love a soap with a good lather. I love the consistency of this wash. It was so light and frothy. It had a light scent of vanilla with a clean, fresh undertone. The last part of my shower routine is to wash the areas of my body that are more prone to body odors such as my feet, armpits, and downstairs. Now that I done finished my shower routine, I done wrapped up in my cozy robe and it's time for body care. At this point, if you ain't tried EOS lotion, then what are you doing? This smells so intoxicating and since EOS lotions are nice and thick, they provide really good moisture. Bio oil is low key expensive so I only use this on the more sensitive areas of my body where I have acne or stretch marks. I rub it in my palms to warm it up before applying. This pomace oil is much more affordable and I use this on the rest of my body to seal in the moisture and scent. Then for deodorant, I'm using this natural one from Smith. Doing my skincare is a form of self-care, especially when I can take my time with it. The first thing I do is wash my face with this swimming cleanser from CeraVe. After I wash my face, I tone with this glycolic acid from The Ordinary, and I like to use this spray from Mario Badesco just to hydrate my skin. 
These last two products are from Good Molecules. I use the discoloration serum to correct and I use their moisturizer to seal it all in. For my oral hygiene, I just use a fluoride toothpaste, smart mouth, and a tongue scraper. Since I got these braids in my hair, all I really have to do is my edges and I'm done. But it's still important to take care of my hair even when it's in protective styles. So I grease my scalp with some do grow to promote hair growth. I pulled out this velour set from my fall wardrobe and it was just perfect for the vibes. Now that I've gotten dressed, I'm going to apply my lip gloss and my perfume. I'm using this Gucci inspired perfume from Dossier. It has a vanilla scent and ties in perfectly. Now, I'm not much of a cook or breakfast girly, so not too much on me. I just made a little microwavable breakfast bowl and some pumpkin spice cinnamon rolls and called it a day. to make my own pumpkin spice latte at home. It was going good until my frother decided to die, so instead of cold foam, it's just cold milk. But I topped it with some pumpkin spice and it actually wasn't too bad. Nova insisted on trying the cinnamon rolls before I did and obviously she liked them. I was really intentional about savoring this moment. Oftentimes I'm rushing to eat so I can do the next thing on my to-do list, but it's important to be present. So while I ate my breakfast, I turned on one of my favorite comfort YouTubers and really sat back and enjoyed my food. After I finished eating, I headed to my room to do some journaling, but first I had to set the mood with this little fall candle I picked up from Target. I wrapped up my slow fall morning routine with some journaling. Journaling is a good way to release all the thoughts jumbled up inside your head. It brings me so much clarity and peace. I really should journal more often because as you can tell, I had a lot to say. I needed this more than I realized. And to whoever's watching this video, I'm sure you need some self care too. So pick something from this video or find another way to take care of yourself. I really hope this video inspired you to do some form of self-care. I really thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in my next video.